In this practical example, we'll use previously modeled parts to assemble a bearing housing. We'll use some mating commands and specific resources for assemblies. This bearing housing still needs the bearings and the retaining ring, so enable the Make Assembly from Part command from the File menu. This command creates a new assembly from this part. Enable the Graphics Preview checkbox in the Property Manager on the Options tab. See how a preview is generated for the part to be inserted. SolidWorks automatically made the part after only confirming the insertion by clicking the green icon. See the F before the part name in the Feature Manager, which means the part is fixed or mated and cannot be moved. Insert the other parts using the Insert Components command on the Command Manager. And on the Insert menu, Components and Existing Part Assembly option. Enable the command after finding the desired file using the Browse option. See the preview for inserting the bearings by just clicking the graphic area. Enable the Mate command to define the position of the bearings. Let's first apply a concentric relation between the bearings and the housing. Then select the appropriate faces for this type of mating. SolidWorks automatically predicts the concentric relation of the parts and then just confirm. Right after that, let's insert a coincident relation between the displayed faces to place the bearings inside the housing. See how the bearings are not fixed, as F is not in front of the part name. However, the only possible movement is rotation, as it was designed for this. And finally, Let's conclude the assembly of this bearing housing by adding the retaining rings. Repeat the same procedure for inserting parts like this. Add the part, and now let's add the second ring. Just click the part while pressing the control key, so it's not necessary to repeat the same procedure. See how to insert another one, the same as the other one. Now just place the retention rings in their respective cavity. Place the rings, and now the bearing housing is now assembled. And finally, let's explode the bearing housing to facilitate understanding the assembly and the existing parts in the assembly. Just click the Exploded View command to do this. In the Options box, enable the Auto Space Components After Drag checkbox, which adds space to the parts after dragging. Click the parts, see how they are highlighted in blue, and there is a triad over them. Use the triad to drag them in the desired direction, and see how the parts really become spaced out. Confirm the command, and then to assemble the parts, just click the assembly as shown, and click Collapse. So, in this practical example, we have learned how to make an assembly of a bearing housing and then explode the parts.
put these concepts into action, create other assemblies and then practice these concepts from the course to perfect them.